There's a thing like I've never heard of that. I'm not saying it's not a thing, but <laughs> I'm not saying they're lying. You never heard of the nervous pee? No. I wonder I mean, maybe it's like a Yeah, since like eighth grade. The second time. <laughs> Dead ass. Until literally this Sunday, or just now, like I—that's what I know. Like I can give you two examples and. And last month, I think it was last Monday. Again. It's consistent. Like even when I first get there before football games, I, I just it, I can't miss the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Real rap. Uh, what is it? Sixty-eight. I knew you were going to do that. What? To do a real loud. Hit it how I hit it? Yeah. Can't be playing with that thing. See, I have to... See... <laughs> this. Don't even get me started. It was going back to the nervous peak. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to episode 68. 68. It's a sexy number. 68, I like it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your description of the number earlier. Sec uh... uh Curvy, what I call it? <laughs> Wavy. <laughs> Shout out to our YouTube viewership. You know what's going on. We know what the fuck going on. <laughs> they don't call this a podcast for no reason. And you know what's crazy? If, if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. First things first. But I think it would be, I think you would, it's like a Netflix series, if that makes sense. Yeah. You got, not, you, you can binge it, I believe. Yeah. Because, you know, old news is still it new fits, news if you ain't heard in. it. <laughs> right, it <fits> <laughs> Right, so, and then you, you you know, you have a better feel for what the fuck going on. So, you know, new listeners, go back to episode one if you ain't, you ain't got shit to do. But, uh, welcome. Something else I was going to do. Uh, it's five rants I want to go on, because we're always talking before the podcast. Oh, no, yeah, true. <laughs> mm. Oh, actually, uh, last week we were uninformed because I didn't. We were, we were talking about Beyonce's <laughs> flamingo dress, her, her queen bee dress, and uh, we were like, I don't know, like you were like, where was she? I was like, I have no clue. <laughs> and I go, I thought, you know, we and we went off, but they were at like one of the most important functions in all of Africa. The <laughs> and I, I thought I thought that was interesting. Now I feel even more dumb. But see, that's what that's why I said I thought that was interesting because when I felt like at the in the moment on the internet, you just I'm like whatever. It's a concert that it's a fire concert because right. you got Ed Sheeran and Beyonce. Right. Like I, I that's what I'm saying. I kind of just accepted right. it about right. it like, and just and okay. just moved whatever on. Whatever it is, right? Whatever it is, but like Hillary Clinton's there. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> wow. so, so I have never heard of it. But that's why I thought it was crazy. I'm like, well, see, actually, I'm like, why the fuck would I hear about that? I'm like, I'm sure there's very important things that I can't even give you off the top of my head that True. they could care less about in Canada, no right. less, True. halfway around the world in Africa. True. So I didn't feel too bad. Like, I, when I saw it, I was like, damn. I was like, I'm a dick. Yeah. And then and then I thought about it. I'm like, oh, yeah, like, why the fuck would I know what's going right. on? Like, right, right, right. Like, there's, all right, I get, I I get the internet, than, but I was like, all right, come on. Because I, I, I did feel like a dick. But, uh... <laughs> And uh, I, t I didn't take some heat, but my uh, it, it was interesting how people on both sides of the fence felt about my black fishing. Like someone said to me, uh, they were like, "Black fishing is uh, black fishing is." Uh, I brushed over it, but black fishing is people being able to be black on the internet is, and not dealing with the consequences. And I was just like, "Well, I didn't look." And I was thinking the same thing, like, "Well, I didn't look that far into it," and uh, but. Like, what? Basically, like basically, if you're black on it, because I just was like, I don't see. No, I don't see. I didn't. We didn't. Not we didn't see the problem with it. But I'm like, it's the internet. Like, if you, it's makeup out of control. And what I didn't say last week is, I think it's weird when women, or people that wear makeup now, because it's not just women. <laughs> but that's another story for another, another episode. <laughs> but uh, how people just do makeup in like the just certain spots or like. People just do the eyebrows and shit. Or girls, people just do the eyebrows and that's it. So what I really didn't go down to with black fishing, I think I said it was makeup spiraled out of control, but I yeah. think it was like what you do to your face, how you can change your face 
they just changed their whole body. Like I looked at it like a makeup thing, not necessarily yeah. a uh, uh, what do they call that cultural appropriation thing. If that makes if that makes sense, but that was a big word. <laughs> as for, usually that's me. Like I was usually that's me. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean, I gathered what it meant Not by really. what you say, and, and I remember hearing that, but... But, uh... Anyway. Yeah, so, <laughs> the beauty of the internet is people tell you what to feel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, with that being said, and, it, and it, again, I, I wasn't segueing this on purpose, but the universe just flows. Uh... Dr. Phil said was, said something interesting about uh, he was being asked about white privilege, and uh, normally people I don't want to just play a clip and not give you the whole context, but I want to play the clip first so it all it all make sense. They asked him when he knew he had white privilege, and he just was explaining it. But when I started studying. So I got sensitized to it. This is a, I, I always play more than I. I like how you told them. That was the, I think. You actually got a whole list on how to combat white privilege. I guess I should let them rock. I think for a month for. You can do, this is, you know, when I started the show 17 years ago. By the way, you made $79 million. So, one of the things I want to do is I want to talk about the silent epidemics in America. And that's one of the silent epidemics in America. Epidemics? That's what a breakfast oh. trouble spot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm stuck. If you want to finally hear doc, the rest of Dr. Phil's rant, find it on the internet. I, I really, I, I thought it was, I mean, I, and why I'm getting, how I'm getting here is we talked about uh, the, the, on the black fishing on the internet, comparing it to like real life situations like uh, Rachel Dolezal, or whatever else we mentioned, right? So when I see, uh, when, I, when I happen to hear Dr. Phil say that, I'm like, you know, I don't, and we talked about this earlier, so I have, I have to like refresh my, yeah. <laughs> refresh my conversation. Does that count as a pre-production meeting? I guess it does. No, I mean we we're no? just talking. Okay, but uh, <clears throat> I I think when when Doc when I hear Doctor Phil say, I mean when I hear Charlemagne or whoever else say, uh, how do you feel? Some people are saying that. Black people have more advantages, and to hear Doctor feel like, well, they're idiots because that's fucking outrageous. I just rubbed me the wrong way, kinda. But I think you took it, especially hearing more of it now. Like I think you took, I think his way. That's why I let him rock. Right. A little more. Because did you get the like? I feel no. Like... I kind of tuned him out. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I think he basically he said the the moment the historic momentum and I get because that because he's talking about like the you know the the limitations that were you know I can't even verbalize what my point is but like he's talking about historically I'm listening. Right, know, and, 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 and actually, heard it. The way the fucking country but I'm t- is, but see, was, is, and was just racism, you know, like. And I get that. Right. And I'm not going to sit up here and act like racism doesn't exist today, right now. Right. Right? 
But I think when I when I hear that, you believe in the you believe in the laws of attraction, don't you? Yes. That's kind of how I look at it. Like I, I wake mm. up, I don't wake up every day like oh, I'm at a disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I, even and I want to say I know it, but I think outside of it. If that I, you know, because because of if I wake up and think like, damn, I'm at a disadvantage. You're it's gonna, gonna put me there. Right. It's gonna right, put me right, there in a situation right, where, right. And, and I and it's in a situation where I feel like I should. I I should have a disadvantage. In my brain, I rise above it. And and if it happens to me. I know it's not on me. Right. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I don't beat myself up about it. I'm like, it's on the other end. Right. Cause I didn't. You know, I didn't. Right. I gave the best me. I gave the best me always. Yeah. So when I hear that, I'm like, see, I think I think it's those little seeds. Yeah. I think it's planting those seeds. It, and to True. me, shit is bigger than black fishing. Shit is bigger than. This, like, it's bigger than a breakfast club interview. It's bigger than that. To to hear that driving in the car in the morning would rub me the fucking wrong way. I, I see where you're coming from now. That explains it to me better. Yeah. Because it's you're bigger right. than you're that. You're right, you're right. It's bigger than a 75-year-old white man who made $79 million telling me, of course I'm at a disadvantage. No. It's bigger than that. True. I ain't never gonna run into you. Don't tell me. You know what I'm saying? So... It's shit like that. That keeps it. That I think plants the seeds to yeah. keep it going. Yeah. If that, if that, and I'm, and like I said, I, I'm not gonna sit up here and act like shit isn't fucked up in the, in America as far as race is concerned. It's fucked up in a lot, a lot of ways. Like a lot. And not even America not, in the world. Like, yeah, like in the there's world. So many different things to like. Just today it was to a. It was a. It was people. a. Uh, a checkpoint on on behind planned on road. When I seen the police, I was like, "Oh shit!" Like I know he not, he didn't even the crazy shit is he didn't even pay me no mind. But when I see the police, I'm like, there, you in my brain, there's a chance there's some shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna I'm sure today. It that happened today. Anxiety. Like I, as soon as I turned the corner, it, I was yeah. like, "Oh boy." Because I know how I feel. Right, when right. they get behind me, I'm like, "Oh god, am I doing anything wrong?" Right. See, that's the shit with me. I, damn. But my brain don't say, am I doing anything wrong? Right. My brain just say, see, shit like that. I know, like, there's a, fuck the seed. There's a, there's an elephant in, uh, the, in, the, in the back, in the back seat. So, I, that's why I just want to say all that to say, I, I'm fully aware of what's going on in the world. Yeah. But, and now in that situation, when I'm like, first, first instinct is, oh shit, rise above it. Right. I just rise above it, like. I ain't doing shit wrong. Right. That's when it, it's like second. Like, right. Because if you get yeah, like, defensive, if I sit there gonna... like, nah, because I know yeah, I don't if I pull the roll down the window like, don't punch me in the face. Like or don't the, put, you, you got your gun on. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the Charlie situation when you met Charlie and you were like, ah, and she was like, ah. Yeah, like it, it makes it the you got to rise above that feeling. You got to rise above it. When you rise above it, and now if some shit goes wrong, it goes wrong. It goes right. It goes right. But in that moment, I rise above and do the best I could do. So I think uh, I think it's certain thing, and and we're gonna get into some fucked up shit on this very episode. But I just I want to be very clear that it's always it's always deeper than the first thing you might hear. Like when I and th- actually this second this next story we're gonna get into with uh, Centoya Brown. I first I saw this like years ago. This story. But I don't jump at the first thing I see on the internet. Like, if you read the first headline or... I don't give a fuck where you hear from. CNN, Fox News, Good Morning America, Ellen DeGeneres. The I say that to say this podcast. I don't care where you hear it. You should always do your due diligence. Because some shit is not gonna... It's not... It's not gonna be what it seems. And you gotta interpret be, everything your own way. There could be one thing in there that I overlook because it don't apply to my life that may be like, oh, shit. Yeah, and you make... You look yeah. at it totally the polar yeah. opposite. So... I, don't, I try not to jump at everything I see and and all and have an instant reaction. So I say that to say this podcast. Some shit I may say on episode sixty eight, you could take the wrong way, and I may not explain until episode one seventy one. Right. <clears throat> that means you should subscribe and stick around. <laughs> but that's another story. 
for another day. Centoya Brown. She was uh, she's from Tennessee. Did you read the story? Um, I Halfway. didn't. Yeah, like I got the the headlines of it. The but but. Go. Contradicting everything we just said. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> no, nah, but uh, see now when I first saw this story, it was interesting. And, and and I get the prison systems as far as uh, black people being targeted is the, it's in the numbers. I don't know what you like. It's no, it's it's no may, way may, way of me sugarcoating it. Like well, you know, I and when I first saw it, I was just like, damn, that's crazy. Seeing it. This was I don't even I can't even tell you. Let's say like five years, years ago. ago. Yeah, right. Exactly. Years exactly. Ago or something. I, or was, wait. I think she's been on trial since two thousand six. Two thousand eleven. See, this is why we gotta pull it up. <laughs> it's she's been on trial since two thousand six, right? Two thousand six. So, That's twelve years. No. Yeah. I know. Uh. When I, I first two thousand eleven, and I thought that was a lot. When I first, hmm, pardon me to the listeners. We have to see who's right here, so. Mm. Arrest and trial. I mean, if she's. On the night of August 6, 2004, Brown. Then 16 years old, met Johnny Mitchell Allen, 43-year-old real estate broker and United States Army veteran. That's a lot of information. In the parking lot of a Sonic drive through in Nashville, Tennessee. Red Light at the, District. At the Red Light District. Brown agreed to have sex for $150. They ordered dinner, drove home. At some point in the evening, Brown shot and killed Allen with a 40 cal and stole $172. This, on oh, the night, that was June, August 6, 2004, like I said. Well, I, I mean, like I read. Right. But, so she was arrested, I believe, in 06, right? So, I'm just, when I saw that, when I saw that. Oh, see, the headlines made it like, like, if you don't read the story. If you don't read the story, and you just see woman who killed sexual. Someone, a 16 sexual year solicitor, old. Right, 16-year-old right. killed sexual solicitor. After being held captive, so you know they it's yeah. it's worded on the headline, they some don't, wild they just shit. Leave out a bunch of words. Right when you when I when you actually when I read the story, and I saw that she and it said her, I don't want to call her as pimp because I'm, I'm not trying to be funny, but right. the guy she, it was in a relationship with is known as Cutthroat, which she refers to him as, uh, Cutthroat, like was. Abusive to her in a relationship and be like, you'll never be more than a whore and all Shocking. types of crazy shit. Right. So, <laughs> she he got, he agreed to, to her, for her to sell sex. So, she was with this guy. You know what I'm saying? She's with, when I, when you read all this, it's like, oh, I don't, I'm not going to say whether she is guilty or I'm not going to say she's innocent. I wasn't there. I can't, I don't think, I think murder is never the answer. And, I, like, I'm all for a duel. Like, I'm all for a fist fight. I'm all for a lot of shit to happen. Like, so say if he was abusing this girl, right, and she shot him. <laughs> I, whether she killed him or not, I don't know. I can't say. It. I, but I'm just saying, if she shot him, if he was abusing her, she had a coming. Like, he had a coming. I don't know what to tell you. I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? Right, so. right. So I, I just want to say I don't want to. I don't think like yeah she should have killed him like nah I don't know. Wait, wait, but she didn't kill her boyfriend. No, I'm just saying I'm just oh, saying okay. with it, being yeah, in that yeah. situation where a guy, where she sells if she's selling sex to a guy, and she's in his house. I mean that story. Is, I'm just saying I don't know if yeah. she's in his house and mm-hmm. she felt like she was in trouble in that situation mm-hmm. and she felt like she had to shoot him. It's, it's her. Right. I wasn't there. Oh. I get it. Oh, got you. Okay, you're just trying to. Okay, go ahead. I'm saying if she had to shoot him. Okay, gotcha. But whatever happened. Okay, whatever. Okay. I'm not saying she's wrong. Okay. <laughs> that being said. That being said. The real feelings. No, it's not even that. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say she shouldn't be in jail. Like, when I right, read, like, right, Ka- right, right, right. Ka- Kim Kardashian is reaching out to the president. Uh, uh, oh, I didn't know Rihanna that. is reaching out to the president. Like. Oh, that's what's going on with this? Yes, and she actually just received 51 years. Now, I talked about, I talked also about 
uh, these outrageous pri- prison sentences. I'm not even gonna say it's an outrage. And I'm not. I'm not trying to even remove myself from this whole story because I'm where I'm going somewhere with this, or we're going. We're, we're, I wanted to. It is a discussion, but I just want to be clear. Like I'm not saying she's. Sh- I'm not saying she shouldn't we don't be know tried. Enough about this. Right, right, right. Exactly. So it, we're it's an ongoing on thing. Outside, like right? I'm not the judge. I don't know what to tell you. We weren't. But there. I wasn't there. But I think 51 years is a little crazy for this. Enough. I I, I think 51 years is a lot of time. Period. But I think in this situation, like it's certain. I don't understand. It, it's. I think people just read. Like, I think that's what it was. I think a lot of people just read the headline and rolled with it. Yeah. Because it's a certain thing, and I'm not a fucking therapist either, but it is. I do believe in person, place, and thing. Right. When you see see a certain person was in a certain place doing a certain thing that she tells you. Right. But <laughs> you also haven't seen her documentary. I think documentary, and that, that's also where I'm going. That's pretty much where I'm going Stephen with Stephen Avery. Now, yeah, now we're in, if right. If we didn't see Stephen Avery's documentary and we just saw the news cases, we'd be like, he's fucking guilty. I think documentaries have the, or, no, so, I mean, you can't really, oh, just the, what the, what the prosecution yes. wanted us to know. Yes. Okay. Like, just the, because, okay. what, okay. what do rolling. we know about this case? I'm rolling. We I, saw I two articles. I, I actually, I, I actually it. did my due diligence about this because I cared. How many articles did you read? I think two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, if it, I guess if it would have been three, I would have had a case here. But I felt like two no, was a lot. I'm like, were, like, like, two and two and an eighth <laughs> of what I just read right there. But so my point is, we know sure. nothing about this case. Sure, sure, it's sure. someone's life. Two articles is nothing. No, sure, uh, no, hundred percent. So. We haven't seen, like, maybe the people that are speaking up for her. Like, we have to really, we have to really look into it if we're going to should. make an opinion. I think, I think we should. I think Because should. there might be a reason why, because why else would they be like, yeah, but they wouldn't stand behind that if they didn't know. Maybe it's like the next uh, they, Stephen Avery thing and they're I, just. I believe. Women's rights. You know what else is crazy also? So many people are in jail for things that they shouldn't be in jail for I'll just say and uh, Stephen Avery became like a baseline for it you know what I mean like I, I on the news not the news because I don't watch the news on television in the news that we receive from however we receive it on our phones <laughs> from wherever you get it from uh, I see like pretty frequently like man released from prison after 22 years man released from prison after 41 years man released from prison after 19 yeah. years, man released from prison after... I see it all the time, every day. And it's weird that Stephen Avery became like a baseline or a... Is it an adjective? He's Something like, like that. Yeah, for for, yeah. for that. So, uh, but... And he's still in jail. And he's still in jail. And that's where I also what I was going to say was when you said, uh, if we just knew what the prosecution gave us, we think he's guilty. I think if people just watched like a certain part of the documentary, you might think he's innocent. You might not even want to hear anything else. I, I, I mean, I'm, I actually feel like from what the, this documentary gave me, Stephen Avery is 100% innocent. I, and you never, nothing's 100%. Right. But I'll say like 99.9. Like, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, damn, when you do go back and see all this. So say we just watched the first eight right. and we just left it alone. Or I whatever we watched. I thought he was innocent. Well, whatever you know, when they right. kind of sway yeah. you, I forget what happens. I forget they took you on a little bit of a roller coaster well, it in the, does in the that first so series. That you watch the whole thing. That's exactly. So if you like get bored or forget and like just watch the first episode or two episodes, and you're like, <sighs> and that's you got it, and that's why I say also you got to do your due diligence where you hear something, because it's always going to be some, it, and then some shit you don't know to sway yeah. your opinion. Like in, I think even documentaries, if it's fed to you a certain way. No pun intended. Because I made a vegan joke in my head. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it, I'm listening to you. And I was thinking about Peter. Oh, like, yeah, but, cause I, yeah, anyway, if it's fed to you a certain you way, you have to be there. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> if it's fed to you a certain way, you're going it, to, it's, that's what you're rolling with yeah. for the rest of your life. Until, 
<laughs> until something else comes. I think that's I think that's kind of fucked up. Now, uh, but that's just perception. That's life too. Mm, perception. Really get deep into it. We don't. We don't have to go that way. I kind of wanted to go deep into it. You, you can't. Don't. Don't do that, girl. <laughs> <laughs> You are about to. <sighs> yeah, don't do that. Not on the, not live on the show. Um, wow, good thing I did the right thing and, and muted that. I always feel like when the when the vibe is killed, you know when they say like nobody. Oh shit. Oh, I, I was gonna. I, when I fucked up the sound last week. Sorry. Hello to the listeners again. When I fucked up the sound last week, I thought I just did it again and. My apologies to you guys for sticking around. Thank you. I had uh, even Graham from the Cap F Sports podcast was like, hey, bro, about 25 minutes in, it blacks out. What's up with you? And I was like, yo, my bad, bro. What I'm did you to... do? I just hit mute for so Why? I wouldn't hit the YouTube. Oh, oh, oh. So I wouldn't get the YouTube commercial in there. And I thought that's why I fucked up last week. So as I was saying, I, nobody likes a buzzkill, right? So when we talk about these fucked up topics, I think it's only appropriate no, you know what? we blame like, Fergie. You know, I'm, I want to go somewhere that I'm not going to go right now. Turn this shit off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to listen to anybody with an annoying voice. But that's what I'm saying. So when we... No. 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 I don't want to be the blame for being people's buzzkill. This, let me tell you... An annoying voice? Nah. Mm, nah. I know where you were going, I think. I'm not rolling. I'm not rolling. I'm not rolling. Okay. I just wanted... (laughs) Welcome back. I just wanted Fergie to be the blame. Nah, I can't. If we ruined you, if we put you in a bad vibe. That's too much for me. That puts me in, like, an exceptionally bad vibe. Mm. Like... Damn. People's voices... Voices. (sighs) Anywho. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. <laughs> Let's go there. Uh, <laughs> now that you remember, this is all Fergus' fault. Kevin Hart stepped down from the Oscars. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. After some mean tweets that he put out uh, eight, eight plus years ago. Some even... They're some Mean some, tweets? I just... I said mean tweets. But people obviously... And, and this is... I want to be very clear. I... I don't understand why people are offended, but I res- I'm not respected if you are, but I'm like, all right. Like, no. we're going to get into no. it. Let me just, let no. me, re- first of all, I just want to read some of Kevin Hart's tweets and then we'll, and then Please, we'll get into because it. because this is crazy. Uh, crazy. <laughs> and it, it sounds, and this, t- I know today I'm talking about this, but today people are pissed off and I want to read the date on, um, so I'm reading the date on purpose. On March seventeenth, I'm not no, at the time. That makes a huge difference, right? I, it makes that's the whole point. That's right. That's the whole exactly, point. That's exactly that. That exactly. is the difference, right? To, right, in, right. You know, right, knowing right. that. You know. Uh, anyway, uh, March seventeenth, two thousand nine. Yes, today I'm saying March seventeenth, two thousand nine. Kevin Hart said, "Just had some soul food." According to my ass, I don't think it was a good idea. No homo. Everyone knows the pause game. I played the pause games. When I feel like it sometimes this week. But people still do. At a certain time, no homo was a thing. It was and just it, like pause. It was just like pause. It was, it it was, it's mean the same anything. thing. But it's not, it's not. And I don't want to sound like uh, one of those one of those old white men to be like, well, they say it. Like I, <laughs> I don't want to. I want to be very clear. I don't want to sound like that. Right. But it's like, come on. It's a, it's a it's a thing. It was a, Nobody says it anymore. You know, I want to be also very clear. This uh, girl I know who is a lesbian uses the D word, which we don't say here. That rhymes with bike. And when I see it, I'm like, isn't that offensive? Like, wouldn't you be like? I actually don't say that. And I was like, and I may say, and er, and er, and er, let me read another one. Also, he's uh, he said to Wayne two fifteen. I can't even read my own handwriting. Yeah, what the... F- he said, uh, that's why you sweat for no reason, you fat-faced mag. And he didn't say mag, he said the F word, which we also don't say here. And uh, I know that says no, K-N-O-W, but he wrote that. 
when he said sweat for no reason. Oh, okay. He actually, that's the actual tweet. So that's why you put the quotes That's why I put the quotes around it. Not that I can read clear. your handwriting anyway. Everything else is tweets I printed out, but... Thank God. Right. Could have been fucked. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, even in other ones. Uh, I'm, ta- I'm taking the family to Santa Barbara. Yeah, like Santa Barbara. I'm taking the family to Santa Barbara this weekend. I'm thinking about wearing an elephant trunk thong on the beach. No homo. An elephant... An elephant... Thong is crazy. Pause yourself. This was also March the 13th. Oh, that's March 7th, March 13th, 2009. Right? And I think, and that's what made, it's Kevin Hart, first of all, he's a fucking comedian. I want to be very clear. He was right? probably making fun of the, the that phrase. No, he's, I mean, where, like, the thong, elephant, uh, elephant thong, like, it, like, the whole thing is like, it's, it's like a bit, it's you know, stupid, it was, right. and first of all, it's the early days of Twitter, Twitter I'm know, not even, and I don't, and I want to be very clear, he was, just, I can't speak for Kevin Hart, but he, you know, he's just getting some shit out, it's, right. the world was different, like, when you watch comedy specials, like Eddie Murphy and Chris Rock and oh, these God. shits from the 80s and 90s, the maggots that they were dropping, they was, they was letting that shit fly, and everyone laughed, and I'm sure, I'm 100% sure there were gay people in the audience that were laughing at the jokes because they accepted that their jokes and it com- right. coming from a certain in a certain time and setting in the world, if you had to let that fly for the sake of a joke, it was cool. But all that being said, again, we're saying all that to say, in 2018, 19, 20, you can't be offended for some shit I said nine no, years ago. No, 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 you that were doesn't count. Person. Like, yeah, you know, that doesn't count. Especially if you first of all, if you pull up, fuck the tweets, fuck the tweets. I'm talking about real life here. Everyone, if you pull up some shit that people said ten years ago, we'd be mortified. It's yeah. not even no. It's, I don't. It's not no shit like that. Seeing ourselves, but if, if seeing 10 old years statuses ago. on yes. uh, Facebook, like, uh, what's oh, the, what is that shit? Uh, time hop. Whatever it is, time hopper. Whatever Ugh. it is, some shit you said in 2011 is disgusting. You're even like, if it was oh. not even just the way you spoke. Yeah, no, that's what that's what I'm saying. You know, no, like, even if you like. You know when it was like... Oh, I went out to get a coffee. Yeah, yeah, like, right, 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 Exactly, like, exactly. <laughs> some basic shit like... Like, I used to... You wrote to, like, got I fucked up write, last night. And it's like, oh my God, I wrote that on the internet? Like, that's crazy. I used to do, like, I used to shorthand everything. And now I look at it and I'm like, ugh. God, mm. I just put the letter U. The letter U. you. That's nasty. That's I know. disgusting. It's disgusting to me. <laughs> like that's how I feel when I read it. I'm like, oh my god, I was like an idiot. <laughs> right, right, like, right. What the fuck was wrong with me? Right, right. And now without all comparing and this I'm to, I'm sure he's. Is I'm sure thinking the that, same thing. But now how I, how right. long ago is that? Exactly. Come on, man. How we feel about writing shorthand and something and writing the U instead of Y right. or U. Feel it, and we say that's disgusting. If that's a three. I that's three percent. Somebody doing if, that ten years ago. No, but if I, I let like, a maggot fly on the internet, and <laughs> to be clear, if this is your first time listening to the podcast, maggot is an F word. An F word, which we don't say here, and which is wrong. So it's, a, it's an F in there, but we're not going to use it. But if I let a maggot fly, you got to you got to say maggot fly when you let a maggot fly. Uh, that's crazy. Like, I would be like, oh, my God. Like, I know he, like, it, to see that shit retweeted and you wake uh, up to te- 2,000 text messages from your publicist, your manager, everybody else, you're like, oh, come on. Right, like, like, if you pull, me personally, if you put, if, some, if you had, like, a, a stenographer of some shit that I said to one of my friends in 2009... That shit would be probably crazy. <laughs> we're different, like, you're different You're a different person. Hopefully, you live and you learn. you're a different person. If you get, if you get like somewhere in life, like Kevin Hart did, sure, you're a different person. And I, and and you are a completely different person. Right. And to get to the point, it's not. I don't personally feel like it's enough. And I don't know who's. I believe it was his. The Oscars. Was it the Oscars? <laughs> I don't give a fuck about award shows. But the Oscars <laughs> said to him that he, he apologized. And he was like, come on. Like, I'm not apologizing for some shit I said. I actually will pull up his official So his he didn't official, apologize. His, it was just like, I'll I don't pull up his official statement. Actually, I respect that. I, do you? I, 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 but I don't feel like it's enough. I, I feel like I feel like they shouldn't have pushed it that far. But, like, I respect that he was like, I'm not apologizing for something I did. Sure. And, and like, because then all that does is create, you know, like, my, a wide open door if he's like, 
you're right. I'm sorry. Like, no, you weren't sorry in 2009 because you weren't, you didn't care. It wasn't a big deal. I think that's also a thing in, in Hollywood. It's just to apologize. Even if you don't mean it, apologize. Like, I, I respect that he didn't apologize. Even though I'm not, like, a I, here's fan his, of his Here's his, uh... Apology. So I just got a call from the Academy and, um... Oh, Academy Awards. Kevin, apologize for your tweets of old. Or tweets of old. Or you're going to have to <laughs> move on to find another post. Mm. I've spoken on it. I've said where the rights and wrongs were. I've said who I am now versus who I was then. I've done it. I've done it. I'm not going to continue to go back and, and tap into the days of old. The days of old. That's I like. I like how he's wording with that. Yeah, I'm fucking like, with that. I got. I got to add that to my like days tweets of old. old. <laughs> Don't bring up my tweets of old. <laughs> I like that. I'm fucking with that. And the fact that, like. I'm sure they're still well. Like maybe they're not still there, but see, that's that's also the thing. And and I think I said it before, but I didn't really go into it. When you see that being retweeted, someone actually went down to you had to scroll. You know how far you gotta scroll. You gotta have a lot of time. You gotta have at least off the top of my head. I want to say you gotta have like two hours. Screenshot like right when he did it. Oh no, that's my no. But oh, oh, you mean as far as. His like okay. likes and retweets like sure. that was somebody was like I'm gonna get you later like what mm, the fuck oh are yeah yeah because it's but it, yeah yeah I, I see what you're saying the amount of tweet yeah you're right, right. like they caught that at 48 likes like, <laughs> right, like, <laughs> like that's very yeah okay that I'm rolling I'm rolling even though it was a different time I'm sure he had a lot of that he was he, he was he was lit around then yeah around 2009. So I'm sure he had more than that. Okay, I, I'm. Got a check mark. That's actually I didn't actually. That's a good observation. That's some shit a woman would notice. Cause I didn't actually. I didn't. I didn't realize that. That was I'm gonna get you later. We're gonna hold on to this, but I mean, to like to it. move on with it. Like when is it enough for someone to lose their job? And I'm gonna make this a two part. I want to sum both up and and one, one shot. But I looked at the NFL and and. Domestic violence is way different from what Kevin Hart said on the internet. Let's be also very clear. But there's, I see NFL players, I'm not even going to get into specific uh, instances. There's NFL players that get other jobs. You know, they're like, Kansas City will cut you and the Buffalo Bills will pick you up. Mm -hmm. And there's NFL players like Ray Rice that are banned forever for obvious reasons. When is it enough for you to lose your job, though? Because I want... I, is it because they're... Pu- Maybe it's not a, a long answer as as I, like, say it out loud. Is it because they're public figures? Because there's, like... There's law... Not lawyer. I don't want to bring lawyers up. But there's, like, construction workers that... <laughs> no, seriously, get convicted of domestic violence and they go back to work. There's yeah. police I'm officers sure. that yeah, are involved like, with domestic violence way, and then they go back to work. There are, I'm sure, lawyers and... Right, I didn't want to. You, you, one person, people you never want to offend is lawyers. So <laughs> anyone saying, else, like every, use for profe- example. every profession. <laughs> right, exactly. Mean, like, That's my point. Profession. Every profession, a fucking dentist, right. somewhere is accused is is accused or whatever or, or did is guilty right. of right domestic right. violence. Right. He has, he goes back to work. No, so I guess it, because they're public figures, I people think, want them to step down. But I, I think. Th- it's because the amount of people, the amount of money and people that mm. are like watching and okay. being like, oh no no this no, isn't... because like like um people who watch the Oscars, like yeah whatever demographic. Everyone's gonna that... compare it to Kaepernick. Like people are like not watching. Okay, not watching because football. Because they watching. were letting him. Sure. Like okay. Like and... they they see money because they are important people. If if it didn't affect the money. It would be. They would still be playing. Okay, so it's because I of it's it. because of they, they money. the grand scale. Money. Okay, and what it comes down, it comes down to the viewers, comes money. down to eyes. Yeah. You're gonna fuck up the money. Okay. Like if somebody is fucking up the money for me, mm-mm. it's over. Mm-mm. <laughs> Never fuck nah. up the money. I'm gonna put nah. that, and we're doing a March Ma- our March Madness bracket. That's that's of yeah, that's relationship like deal breakers. Top sixty four relationship deal breakers. We got to make that. I'm not going to, I don't, I'm not going to, we're not going to say off the top of our head is number one, but that's going to be a number one seed yeah. and a bracket of yeah. deal breakers fucking up the money. You Thanks. never fuck up the money. Thanks. Okay. I'm rolling. And I, I, okay. 
I'm broke. <laughs> not like so, really fucking up sure, the money. Sure, sure, sure. You know? so, Everybody fucks up the money a little bit sometimes. You fuck up the money. It happens. It's, but. No, you don't fuck up. You, you, you dabble in it. I get you. I'm rolling. You can have a little fun. You can have a little fun. But you don't uh, fuck it up. So, and I and I, I don't. Uh, where as far as Kevin Hart's concerned, uh, I, th- I, I, I I respect. I, I wouldn't step down though. I'm like fuck that. They're gonna have to tell me I'm not gonna. <laughs> nope. I'm going to work. Like I was like I'm hosting the motherfucking Oscars. They can kiss my ass. No, but you know what? I respect him because he's like fuck y'all. Okay. I don't need you. Like at some point, like. He did, but he said, I explained it. I'm not doing this shit right, again. I ain't right. doing this with you. He knows. He knows he's too good for that. Okay. Sometimes you just get to a level where you're like, you know what? I don't need your I don't need your problems. Like, I'm not doing this with you. He's not going back and forth with anybody. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I'm rolling. <laughs> I'm rolling. Uh, <laughs> and funny. I'm not saying... Uh, uh, <laughs> no, never. Uh, Peter. Hmm. Peter's... Peter's on some shit. Peter's always on some shit? Are they? And for this, we were going to call... I was going to call my resident vegan, Red Donna Vegan. <laughs> Shouts out to you. Who is definitely asleep. But I was going to say, it's late, so we're going to we're gonna pass. But Peter has issued an official statement. And when I first brought this up to you, you were like, nah, maybe this is fake. You know how the internet gets. Like, <laughs> and then I asked her. But no, I but I went and to the she, PETA site and I was like... She said too, she was like, ah, oh, you gotta... I just mentioned PETA. And, you know, she does her thing. Does the um, vegan thing? Does her thing. <laughs> and uh, she was like, oh, you do have to be careful because the meat industry makes up a lot of lies about PETA and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay. Mm. But then you said... That's what the meat industry would but say. But they did say that. She confirmed that later. I, That's what the meat industry... See, it's it's... I'm not gonna our vegan talk is another is a separate talk <laughs> there's no vegans here to talk our ear off about it also so it's, it's gonna be, it would be quick it's funny how the vegans and the meat people and the meat people are starting to point back now like yeah, no fuck like, that you nah, guys wanna play those they're games crazy. Yeah. they're crazy yeah, like, you guys wanna they're play crazy. those games they're okay crazy. <laughs> so but uh Peter issued a statement they don't it, it's called species speciesism speciesism oh my god I know this is this is great this, this is, is great. The world, the internet, and the... And Let me tell you something. My opinion, and I'm probably not supposed to, I don't care how... I don't care what other people think of how I feel, but people are way too goddamn sensitive. Mmm. That means it was... That means... <laughs> it was right on you're point. You're on to something. Right on point. People are way too sensitive. Before we go into the PETA thing, my mom always told me, don't sweat the small shit and appreciate the little things. Like, everybody is sweating the most tiny fucking things. Like, sure. stop. And, and see, stop. that's that's why I say the internet and the real world are, like, colliding very fast. Because it is some small thing that turns around and, like, changes the real world. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, PETA issued a statement... That they want to stop the use of anti-animal language. <laughs> so, because it's offensive. Because inst- it is offensive <laughs> to the animals. So, instead of saying "kill two birds with one stone," they want you to say "feed two birds with one scone," or, or. Instead of sometimes on the podcast when I beat a dead horse, they want you to say "feed a fed horse." They want you to stop the animal. You know what I'm saying? Take a bull by the horns is grab a. Rose petal, rose by the thorns, or some shit they want you to say, which would hurt. Like, vegans are crazy. Like, why the fuck would you grab a rose by the thorns? But anyway, uh, I just wanted to read those before we go back to sweating. The, when I see that, it's like, damn! Now you, now, now you're going and searching for shit now. Like now, everything's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we're gonna change our age. We're gonna change our gender. We're gonna change our skin color, we're going to change our, now our animals are offended. Michael Jackson changed his voice. His skin color, his nose, his face. Oh, true. I, I see, I Everything. forgot about the obvious shit. I was just thinking like, I see, the, I thought the woman. voice shit, I thought the voice shit was taking it very, that's when I was like, God damn, is that true? I hope that's not true. I'm like, like you could do that. Everybody's <laughs> been doing it as much as they could. Sure. But like, everybody's so sensitive and so offended and everybody is looking for things to get offended by. I feel like everybody's like, that, like, 
when I said, like, I don't think I can get offended, mm, I'm sure I could figure and out. I, and I salute you on things like that. Because when you're like, why would I be offended? Like, that right, shit don't like, got nothing to do with me. No. It's like some honorable, like, it's honorable shit. I don't like, have time <laughs> to get offended by everything. And, like, I get some shit's wrong, but eventually it'll die out. You know what I mean? Like, sure. And if it doesn't, nobody's going to know what it means in 50 years. You know, all Especially the Especially the animals. Right. I couldn't imagine a horse being like, fuck you say? Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> but, like, not even just that. Like, beating a dead horse, for example. Like, first of all, it's it's dead it doesn't really matter so but that's some sick shit point. <laughs> sorry um but like we hear like I can't think of a saying right now but you're always like where did this come from and I'm like I don't know always. let's google it and like it's something from like something that we don't even do anymore but we say <laughs> right, it and we have sure. no idea what we're talking about so like 50 100 years from now we're probably all gonna be fucking vegans and, you know, like, nobody's going to, we're going to say that and we're going to be like, what does that even mean? Sure. And they're going to be like, oh, my God. You know, like, mm, they're going to be okay. mortified. Sure, by like, stuff. Uh, but, like, it doesn't, it'll don't have phase a pot itself to piss out. In. Like, just stop holding on to it. Like you said, like, with the, you know, like, you don't have a disadvantage. Stop holding on to that. Like, let it go. Sure. I let agree. Let it go. I agree. It's yeah. the same thing. Like, everybody's like, oh, no, no, no. I want to hold on to all this, you know, like negativity and this I'm offended I'm offended I'm offended like just let it go because if you hold on to it you're you know just keeping yourself there now I, I like that you're not easily offended and <laughs> no seriously though because a shit like shit like that is is it, it you can't let it affect real conversation right. real right like you kind of would you would miss the point if I was like if I told a whole fucking story I don't know of, but like la- this is not even the story but like you were in the kitchen and I was in the living room and I said something and you called me a bitch but it was like an in- Jesus jest. Christ no no no, no. It when was you like- say it it sounds fucked up like <laughs> Context, I, I it forget. Like it was joke, something funny, but I, can and tell I was like, you "Selfish like, bitch!" bitch. Like, yeah, 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 right, like, right, right, right. And you were like, "I didn't want to say it." Yeah, because like, it's fine. How, in five years. It was might have been the, like the first. I, I, I want to say the first, but maybe like the second time. In yeah, you've ever fifteen hundred days. I was like, like, "I'm doing it." Like it was just you know the time. <laughs> but now see that like would have been joke. trash. It would have been. It was just timing. That would have been trash if fifteen hundred days, real days, worth of like timing is blown because you missed the point of 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 what of the whole you know it sounds crazy that's why i say when you say it when you just say it like that it sounds fucked up but it wasn't even to offensive. hear no but even to me when <laughs> even to me with all that being said after saying all that i'm like damn that does sound kind of crazy like, <laughs> <laughs> now i'm making excuses for you <laughs> no dead ass though but now if if if, if you would have been like would you just call me Right. But I would have been like, like no, oh, just... now nah, I was playing, <laughs> like, damn, like, you know, and, like, <laughs> like <laughs> but, but you say it. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean that. <laughs> That's when I got to go get one of the dogs, and I'd be like, but I got bitch friends. <laughs> you got to get them somehow, somehow, some way you can find a, you can find a way. Uh, you think Offset is offended? Uh. Would you be offended if your ex was taunting you on stage? Let me play. I feel like this is go. Yeah, play. Let me yeah. play. Let me play. I, Cause I got one for wait, you too. Wait, wait. When was this? Yesterday. Cause <laughs> I think yesterday was when he posted. He tweeted. He tweeted. I, I, I saw it live on Twitter. Like I saw it when it happened. Like, yeah, like that early stage, and I was like, yeah. I'm fucking with this. And I, that, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get into that. So I'll play this first. This is a Cardi verse on stage. On stage recently at a concert, obviously. Now, if you didn't hear, she said she changed the lyrics to her song. I think it says, I told him the other day. The original lyrics says, I told him the other day, maybe she sold that porn. Pause. I'm going to pause. I fuck with, fuck with what I'm talking about. But, uh, <laughs> uh, she changed the lyrics to, uh, I told him the other day. We're gonna get a divorce or whatever the fuck she yeah, said. Yeah, that's what she said. I mean, basically. When I when I I saw the shit first. I saw his tweet first where he says, "I miss Cardi. Fuck y'all." I saw that like, and I was like, 
Oh yeah, no. I was like, I I don't want to look I at it as like a publicity a stunt, but I was like, Damn. I felt a little bad. I was like, for you to shoot that off to the world, for you to f- fire off like, fuck y'all, I miss her. You might you're in your home in your bag, you're in your duffel bag. You're in yeah. that's a big bag you got. Like, <laughs> I still feel bad for him. I swear, like, like I don't even I don't care even I wanna disregard I won't say I don't care. I wanna disregard what he did. Even if he's a hundred percent wrong, to see that is like, Oh yeah, you feeling it. Yeah. Right? So when I see well, then today, earlier I saw she changed the lyrics to the concert and I'm like I saw that. I, I didn't like, even click on that. I was like, nah, nah, nah. You're not going to get me. I was like, that's it. No, it got me. <laughs> I told you. I'm recently, and I'm new listeners, you're fucking welcome. Because everybody ain't been getting this due diligence they've been getting lately. True. I want to be very clear. So, Because <laughs> uh, social commentary, I'm taking it very serious. Make sure you subscribe again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> again. I'll fucking unsubscribe and resubscribe and make sure you fucking subscribe. <laughs> and play play episode one. After you hear an episode, play it again when you go to sleep and just let it play. Get the streams up. Uh, when I when I saw it on stage, I was like, I mean, when I saw it say that, I was just like, damn, like, because I, I, you know, I normally I wouldn't I wouldn't have clicked on it, yeah, and I wouldn't have had an opinion on it. But when I saw, it, I'm like, oh, you can't ever take that back, like, and I'm not gonna. Every, you... I want to stick to the jokes, but I want to dabble in the seriousness a little bit. Like, you have a baby. Right? So, your kid, the shit that goes out a on the child. internet, you can never take it back. Whatever a you child. say on the internet, if he, whatever you say on the internet, you can never take back. If he says, fuck Cardi, I miss y'all. I mean, <laughs> what's in this cup? If he says, fuck y'all, I miss That's Cardi. What he needs to say. Right, right. That's right, what he right, needs right, right, right. I was to trying to, I was channeling, I was channeling where he's gonna be. Come on. Right, right. But Come if he on. says, fuck, uh, fuck, uh, fuck y'all, I miss Cardi. Next week, if he feels, if he doesn't feel it anymore, he can't even take it back. Like that screenshot deleted, is there. It's still there. Her so video having is deleted, a baby, but people still know but it's it. Still, no, but it's still on the internet. You can still right. find it. But with having a baby, you gotta think also. Like if you say it on stage, like I wouldn't want to see like my mom said that about my dad. Like I, being a thirty year old man, if I saw that shit, I would be like, <laughs> if this, was, I would be like, God damn! Like it's like we talked about old statuses. Imagine seeing. Thank God, there's no video of me in like six X t shirts on. On, on the gram or from 2000, that'd be, I'll be like, oh my God. Like, I just want to, can we just get rid of that? Like, yeah. did that happen? Come on, guys. I was, we were wilding. The times were crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, with, and I, I, and, and also, since we're, I guess this is like a refresher course for new listeners, I want to be very clear. I only bring up these celebrities to make it relatable. And, it does apply because I started to think I put myself in in that situation. It is. It is. I think it's good um, to have discussions on it and kind of see other people's perspective. Like 100%. I get to see your perspective on it. I learn, even though I don't give a shit about them really. I learn more about you. I get it. I'm I'm rolling. I'm, I mean, for our sake. For our sake. That's right. why it's easy to but set like, up a camera and a even, microphone because we don't give a fuck. We would have the conversation listening, anyway. Listening, but like, to some, I like to hear other people's perspective too, though. You I agree. Know what I, mean? I agree. Like, That's I agree. Mara sure. tells me her perspective after. I like to hear me other too. people's 100%. perspective. Me too, 100%. Because I know, I mean, just recently in my most recent rebirth, um, <laughs> <laughs> I learned you to be there. that you can be there. It's a couple episodes back. Um, it's the, the In your age. recent rebirth. Yeah, anyway. I knew what I was talking about. I know, but I'm just trying to keep you around. You We've better. been down this road before. Don't. We're talking. <laughs> Wait, there it goes. My In my recent rebirth, <laughs> I learned that other people have a like a different perspective from you, and it's completely different. It doesn't make it wrong. Doesn't make it right. But like it is, it allows you to like go, oh it, that <laughs> right like oh okay that huh. makes sense like when you explain things to me and I'm like oh okay okay I understand that sometimes sure. I don't and I don't agree with it but like I can still respect your perspective you know and like everybody has their own perspective just because of like you know how they were raised or how they grew up or what they've experienced or what they've seen or you know whatever hundred percent anyway and I, and and that's why I. You know, you were saying all that, so I can say it. that's why I appreciate the sake of the show, and to make it and to make it easier and bring that connection closer to people. What mm-hmm. chapstick? I don't know. Don't ask. 
I use celebrities. Anyway, so when I saw... <laughs> you always... Oh, no, I think... Oh, I thought... <laughs> You always you lost screw that all you over lost again. that pot that that I that know podcast I back. do this though I mean when I roll it up and we're for those a moment here we're, we're, right that's where um, I was just, this is serious and for the listeners we're talking about chapstick we had, I had chapstick rolled down she uh, he always I rolled down my chapstick when I'm done with it like a normal human being no because <laughs> you're just not talented enough to put on the <laughs> <bit>. <laughs> see that's another but that's a two part thing because I I don't. <laughs> My coordination <laughs> loses. I, I'm I'm very athletic, but, there's but one little less, tedious like, shit like that, you just I'm gonna miss. To lips. Nah. To lips. See, I don't even <laughs> hold my lips like that when I put on chapstick. <laughs> like it's this is totally different. <laughs> Laughing and talking at the same okay. time. Okay. But you but you just handed this. You set this back. You're on using the table. too much precision. <laughs> but don't that's this is another. Yeah, like you're like a fucking laser with this thing, like. <laughs> <laughs> we are having a fucking moment here. Anyway. You put this back on the table. It was like... <laughs> don't even get me started. I could go on, I could go on for half an hour because I kind of don't want to let this go. Fuck the perspective. I ain't seeing your side about this. Uh, <laughs> Why would you leave it rolled up this much? You always roll it down. You never know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like half an inch. Life is happening very fast. <laughs> uh, we had about? a poll about this, so it's a serious. About rolling. It was very serious about down. rolling it down. Yeah. But it was just half an inch. People up. change, okay? That was don't pull, don't pull out my old polls from <laughs> three months ago. Trying to prove that you can get the lid on straight. <laughs> uh, I was trash at Operation Two, for the record. I was too jumpy for it. I'm like, ah. <laughs> like, ah. Uh, like, you could just tap the table and I would, ah. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, no. You, Jenga must have not been your game either. No. Uh, yeah, I was going to go play those X games, but I guess not. <clears throat> I was going to, I was talking about being offended for Offset. Yeah. But we had a good laugh, so now I don't feel like it anymore. Uh, I do feel bad for Offset, though. But I don't know what happened between them, and I don't really care. I mean, I, I don't care. Um, but I do feel like I should have known. Would you feel offended if your ex was taunting you on stage, though? I think I asked you that. I think that's how we got here. It is how we got here. But, like, yeah, it's rude. It's rude. Like, you're going to be t- Like, what? But... I feel like this is exactly where I thought their relationship was going to go. Like, this is exactly (laughs) the... I'm, like, not surprised at all, at all, zero percent. Like, none of me is like, wow, I thought they would be together forever. Like... No, as far as they're concerned... I thought they weren't going to be trashy. Nah. Like, I remember what she was before she got famous at all. She's just the same no, person. No, that's not a... She's just the that's same That's not an ex you want to have. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. 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 Uh, in other news, where is this? Two nuns. And you know... Nah, fuck it. We'll go back to that. We'll go back to it. One day I'll bring it back up. Uh, two nuns were accused of embezzling 500,000 U.S. dollars from a school. <laughs> for personal use? They used the money to go gambling in Las Vegas. And lost? Oh, no, I mean, that was besides the point. that they. I mean, they didn't. if they doubled it up, I'm sure they wouldn't have gave it back to the school. But uh, I thought it was actually... I thought it was... The, for the school in Torrance, California, I'm trying to get the name here. St. James Catholic School. Okay. In Torrance, uh, they actually didn't press charges on the two nun- two nuns, and they were like, "Hopefully, we can work out some restitution. You guys give it back." The nuns admitted admitted they fucked up. Well, obviously beyond fucked up, but but you know, and uh, <coughs> they're gonna go their separate ways, right? So at first, of all, I didn't even know you could like once the po- you call the police, like, "Hey, some shit's going on," and then like at that point, I, I didn't yeah, know I you could be like, "Actually, hold on." They're nuns here. This is all good. 
that may be a case of non-privilege, but I'm getting to it. But, uh, no? I don't know. I'm just as lost as you are as far as that goes. But besides that, uh, that story, I started to think, like, like Catholic schools... I, and we're not big on religion, but that's kind of why I wanted to have, like, flirt with a little bit. Okay. Uh, Catholic schools... Well, I just, I'll say church in general. Okay. Like those, I don't understand. And I maybe I want someone to, t- I want to open, I, I should talk to someone. I, should, I could ask people about it. But like, how do you bring some shit like that up in person, right? Like, why do you send your kids there? Is that, you know, like, but. A lot, yeah, a lot of people you can't have, um, it's like, hard to have Yeah, like about. Because either they say too much or they're just like, mm. Or you, you don't get the answer. Right. Like, well, then, it right. you know, you're just, you're just kind of stuck in the same place. So this is actually a good platform for you to do that. Because if they say too much, you just scroll past. <laughs> <laughs> That's too fucked up. Words. Like, no, actually, no, your answer, too long. <laughs> but, but uh, like, going like going to church in general, I don't feel, and I understand why people feel like they need it, actually. Like sometimes, and we talked about it, like some people need someone to listen to. And to push them. And to push them. To make them. Right. Like you need some, like whatever guidance and whatever right. you're searching for. Right. Right. So I understand that. But that's my reason for not going to church, if that, if that makes sense. Like it's you, almost if you like. you feel like you need it all the time, then you depend on it and you become dependent. But it's almost like you got to do your own due diligence. In the, in, the, in the sense is like yeah, if I'm yeah. going to if I go have to get in my car to go to a church for that feeling I'll always need that church right Depending. like I kind of feel like <laughs> spiritually I want to be Probably. right about this mm-hmm. and not even to offend anyone but just to be clear on where I'm coming from out of like curiosity uh, I I feel like spiritually you should try to find, try to find it. I understand going, like I understand going to church, but I think you and you should try to find it in yourself, or find like, because and I could be wrong again, but I feel like if you need to go to church, that's when you're going through something, or you go you go there looking for an answer, right? You know, and maybe you can hear something from a pastor or or or. A reverend or a whoever, or right. or a, or if you go to like AA meetings, or, you know what I mean. Like so, yeah. I get that sometimes you need to hear something from someone else. Right. Like, are you going through this? Right. Or am I the only? Everybody goes through. Everybody right. goes through something. Right. But I'm the kind of person. And I'm not gonna give you that introvert bullshit. I'm just the kind of person that I gotta sit in a room, and and. <laughs> I don't know even what I'd be looking to in the sky. I believe in God, obviously, but I like I look to like the stars and the f- wait for the feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like I need it to come to me. I need to be like, you know what I mean? Like I I feel like if I needed to go to a church, I'd be at a loss. Cause at one thirty in the morning, when I'm feeling lost, the fuck am I gonna do? Right. Right. So I feel like if you don't have that in your in yourself. <laughs> And don't get me wrong. Some nights that's why I'm up until three thirty in the morning because I, you may not be at one thirty in the morning. You can't get get the answers. You ain't right. gonna go to sleep. Maybe it all plays out. Plays out, right? But it, it's those. It's those. It's those things. Like, and we. I think what were we talking about? We were without wet stitching. I'm trying to think. We were talking about like the the universe, like the, the universe, basically. Like, oh, the, when I said that, like. Religion and universe, like the secret, is all basically all. The it's same all the same thing, thing right? Because, <clears throat> like the secret, which is by Rhonda Byrne, I think. I don't, I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, it's about like the laws of attraction. So you you get what you give, and like you know, like basically everything is just energy, and like it comes back to you. Sure. So if you keep a positive mindset and if you, you know, 
do good, good things come back to you and you can like actually manifest your dreams. Like you can just know they're coming, believe in them and then keep, you know, like it, it comes to you slow sure. or fast, depending on how like actual, like focused you are in on it. And then religion to me sounds like the same thing. I believe you it know, is. You know, like, because they're like, talk to God, ask right, God sure, for it, pray sure. for it, pray for it. And people believe in that shit. And and, I, and that's why same, I respect it's it. It's the same. A, I, I yeah, think yeah, it's, yeah. The like, same, it's the same energy. It's the thing. same thing. It's just they see it differently. They have it's a, to. It's a figure instead of like some. Bu- sure. I feel like that's just the way life is. Like, you have to actually. But I feel like if you don't find something. It can be in yourself if you're like, yeah, I'm going to make it and I'm going to, you know, like, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to have a family. I'm going to have a nice, co- you know, whatever your dream is. Um, you know, like, if you actually believe in it, like, it it does come to you. But, like, you were talking about, like, if you have a disadvantage and you're just, you know, like, if you think you have a disadvantage, you're kind of holding yourself there. It's the same thing, too. Like, Sure. And, and that's also... And I know we got here from nuns, <clears throat> but that's my reason, and not this specific uh, case. Case. I mean, like a hu- getting it from another human is is like um, I feel like it's respectfully, res- very respectfully. It's like I mean, this, right? It's like an unneeded link, respectfully. I get why people. Some people still because you it. know what there. I, 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 but I, I don't, I believe in people that are gifted. I believe in people that have something. But I don't always like that another human could just decide to get their life together and become in, in whatever position in the church. Right, and, right, I don't, right. And lead you. And lead lead me. I do, I'm not comfortable with it. I'm really like, mm, no. Because you know what? You're human too. And you have urges and you have, you have not demons, you have... Things you have to deal with, things you're going through. You're a fucking human, right? So I, I, I just, I think it's an unnecessary link in a physical. Well, some people need that, you know. Like some people need somebody to teach them, like they're teachers, basically. And I think the best okay. religious leaders are ones that tell you about them struggling, even during their, you know, time of being. Okay. <clears throat> you know, so I don't, you know, like I, I do agree with you there, but like I feel like if you are a good leader, you're not going to portray yourself as being perfect your whole life. You can't. Nobody will listen to you. You know, like nobody will relate to you. Sure. And you can't teach someone how to come out of darkness or wherever you're at if you haven't been there before either. Okay. When you say like teacher, I, I, I that that makes sense. That's like why that's, I, that's why I say I, re, I respect it, but right. I just uh, and needed you to even hear respect it from, it a, more from than a, I do. From like person. I have a I have a negative view on it, but it's because of how people portray certain. But you know, like the the basic idea is the same. Like they're trying to keep people doing positive things, however they think, you know, and like, gotcha. do good and whatever. And I have a, I have a weird. I also think uh, my main thing with organized religion is like the idea of heaven and hell. I think that's like one of my final straws with it. Yeah. I'm not, and I don't want to even because we. I'm not gonna play Fergie again, so I don't want to get too crazy, right? But yeah. I feel like my idea of hell is like a bad dream that never ended. My idea of hell is that Instagram. <laughs> Instantly. Instantly. Sorry. <laughs> we can go down a whole another tangent. No, go ahead. I'm rolling. No, no, no. It's fine. That's all I was going to say. You know exactly the crab lady. The, uh, the sound of. Uh... That's See, all no, I'm doing. no, that's no, all no, you get. That's it. But can I tell you? I can't even. I believe, like, could you? That's what I mean. I believe in, like, energy, and I believe in, like, letting things defeat you, right? So the things that are in your brain, in your spirit, as really, like, or whatever, whatever, you're really afraid of it, or it just tortures you, like, it's literally hell, I think that that's what happens to you. Oh, that makes sense. In hell. Like, I think hell, it would be, like, like, whatever, like, you say, like, and you look, and the bus, and 
And then all of a sudden you're like in a dark thing. And there's that lady with a lobster claw like. <laughs> and you're like. No. Seriously. No, 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 Seriously. no, no, no. This can't be real. I got. Or maybe it's just living in your own like. Your own demons. like Your, your own, own. But what if it's like hell on earth and like the bad people are just living with their own. And that's maybe that's why everybody is so trying to hold on to negativity. They're like living in their own shit basically. And that you know, like I know some negative people who are like trying to they're trying and to like drag you down it's with an them. They're, they're trying to steal your energy and bring you to the darkness. It's an energy. Like it's probably just heaven and hell is probably actually on earth. It's like a it's a it's I here. I really believe it's like a spiritual yeah. thing. Yeah. Like it's like a like heaven like there's moments in my life, like na- right now, doing this podcast, I really feel like sometimes, it, how can it get better than this? Right. <laughs> like, what, what am I being a cloud? Right. <laughs> what right. am I gonna be? Right. Like? Right. Yeah. Right. Just floating around. Just floating that's gonna around. be fun. That's gonna be. Like Paris Hilton said, that sounds boring. That sounds trash. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. We didn't understand I ain't never quote but... Paris Hilton in my life. She said that shit, and I was like, "Wow, that's the beauty of the internet." I ain't never think Paris like, "Yeah, I get it." Like, sounds mad. Boy. That sounds trash. <laughs> there you go. Like, so I, I and we're saying all that to say, I believe you gotta appreciate the good things. I believe you gotta appreciate what's right in front of you today, <clears throat> right now. And if you see some small shit like a tweet. Or, or the fucking light turns green and some bitch instantly goes <laughs> and blows the horn at you. <laughs> Don't let that fuck up your day. Just like, like, all right. Like, you know what? You li- you do what you you do what the fuck you do. I'm staying. And I'm staying my... above it. Yep, yep. Like yep, heaven is above. Yep. Stay above it. Yes. Everything. Yes. Sit. Hallelujah. Next. <laughs> <laughs> let the church. Christ is king. <laughs> Let the church say, ciao for now. Have a day you deserve. Uh, Amen. Next week's going to get spicy. <laughs> Episode 69. Mm-hmm. I told her the other day. We should have, we got to delete that porn out the iCloud. But anyway, <laughs> that's it. Ciao for now. Have a day you deserve. Make sure you uh, subscribe and do what the fuck it is you Lean do. on the channel. Right, exactly. <laughs>